So all we have here is a Apple Macintosh. And let me move the viewfinder so I can see what the hell's going on. All we have here is an Apple Macintosh motherboard. This is from 1987. It's faulty. I bought it broken. Uh, I could test it, but I'm not really that interested. What I'm more interested in is using the IWM which is the integrated Wozniak machine or in English the floppy controller. Now with this I'm going to repair my Apple II Compact so we're going to remove this. If you can see that too clearly, but the solder has been removed from the uh, from the chip there. Apart from a couple of little places where they steadfastly remove uh, refuse to move. So if I knew where the solder was, it's the bloody rubbish. Where the hell's that gone? Too many projects on the go at once, and none of them are being completed. Anyway. Yeah, there's two pins there that are stuck on. What I'm doing now is just resting the iron on the pin and flicking it away on the side of the through hole connector so I don't want to tear the tracks when I remove it even though it's a scrap board I still don't want to damage it What lots of companies did, it must have been the picking machine, they would put the microchip in, the IC, whatever it was, and it would bend the legs, which is fine for production I suppose. So now we have an issue where two of them have got solder in that can't get out. So what I'm going to do is put a drop of solder in there and draw it out again. So I'm going to put a drop of solder back in those holes that have already um, that have not withdrawn properly. Then we'll have another go at dra drawing it out. Almost, but not quite. So 
I'll never go the old fashioned way. Actually, no. Actually, there we go. It. Let's see if we can tease it out. Looking at the top of the chip, I'm convinced that there's some solder still on the top of the track. Top of the connector and the through hole connector. So we'll just see if we can remove any if there is any. Bank holiday Monday today, it's beautiful and sunny outside, so I've got the washing on the go. Tidy up and clean up and do some hoovering and pick the braid up off the floor. And now we'll see if this comes loose. I didn't expect it to come out quite so easy, but there you go. All the holes are intact, no damage, no tracks missing, nothing broken. So I could easily, if I wanted to, put that back on there. But I don't, I'm not interested. But what I am interested in is using this in my Apple II. Get some of the filth off it, bits of solder and things. Those are a few Klingons. If I'm going to socket it or not, I might socket it in the Apple II. Not sure. There you go, that's ready, ready to fit. So now we need to do the same. Move the crap out of the way. Do the same with the Apple II. Here we have the Apple II, there's the IWM, no, not in camera shot, there's the IWM, that one. So that one's from 83, this one is from 82. So this is a 0041A and that is a W041B. The difference is but the later one can run uh, 800k floppy or something. Something like that. I can't remember now. We will soon see. Very clever power pack ID. This thing is almost a laptop. I don't know if they ever did an Apple II laptop, I don't suppose they did, but this is practically a laptop. If it isn't, or if they didn't make a laptop, they should have done. I know they had a battery pack for this and a mini screen. 
a lot of screws. There we go. There is the few things dropping bits everywhere. There is the IWM. So we'll, we will remove that. Dodge your soldier on there, Mr. Apple. Now the reason I'm re-soldering those is because it hasn't drawn all the solder through the pins, through the holes. That doesn't seem to do much. I think that's pretty much it. It's come through pretty cleanly. Let's try and tease it gently. There we go. It's out.
No damage, no tracks lifted, all good. So we'll pop this bad boy back in, this new one. This is the 1984. 82 fell off. Ability to grip is getting worse. Mm. Well, we don't need the desolder anymore, we need this we solder. Make sure it's the right way around. Order it in and find out it's the wrong way around. That would be annoying. Okay. Pins are holding it nice and tight, so I think we can go straight in. What I tend to do is corner to corner, and then push the chip up, and away you go. Well, folks, that's it. That's the chip back on, fully fitted. Turn the soldier nine off before I burn myself. Move the crap out of the way. Just the base. This goes in at a funny angle for the ear jack. There we go. That's the speaker. I don't know where they came from. There and there, I presume. Must be an earth for the floppy drive. Is apart probably two years ago. Put all the screws in the bag. I've now lost the bag, so I can't screw the case back up. So I'll have to find some screws for it in some way. Well, I've got four left. Let's put the power back. Quite a clever idea, the module power pack, I like that. Sometimes Apple did come up with some good ideas. Not always, but sometimes. One screw left. Okay, screw. There you go. So 
there we are. All built up, we'll give it a test.